So let me uh, just describe, give you a feeling now that we, uh, we've discussed this blood pre preventer and this idea of the high pressure oil. And I just want to analogize it using this cylinder, this gas cylinder. It's a nitrogen cylinder, but we could pretend that there's high pressure oil inside here, which would represent this black tank. So essentially, we could argue that the blowout preventer is very similar to this regulator. This regulator takes high pressure, so let me demonstrate that. I can re remove the, the nitrogen inside the regulator, and then if I open, I'm closing this valve, and I open the valve to the high pressure oil, and this we're going to pretend. Here it says 1,500 pounds per square inch. The highest scale on this gauge is 4,000 pounds per square inch. In this case, I estimate that the oil is 17,000 pounds per square inch. The problem is that most conventional, I don't know of any conventional or non-conventional uh, techniques that can, valves for example, such as this, that can seal at 17,000 uh, 17, pounds per square inch. And so, uh, the problem now, beyond that, is that the blowout preventer, if we can pretend that this regulator, which, so it's got this high pressure gas coming here, and then it releases gas, nitrogen gas in this case, but we'll pretend it's oil, through this tube, I can check the flow of valve of here, uh, but the problem is, is that, in my opinion, this, well, this blowout preventer was damaged. There was some argument that there were some batteries that were missing and the valves didn't shut, but you have to also understand that the valves were compromised, mechanically compromised during the explosion when the, the Deepwater Horizon apparatus, the whole platform fell into the uh, gulf, and then we found that the, the pipes cracked just above the, uh, the blood preventer. So there's no guarantee that the blood preventer is actually going to work, period. Batteries or no batteries, because number one, it has been mechanically compromised. Number two, you're dealing with higher pressures than would normally be used in these kinds of fittings because we had a catastrophic failure of all of the protection apparatus, the concrete plugs, etc., inside this hole. So BP is trying to fix this or find a solution that maintains the integrity of this, and I just don't see that that's going to happen, that that's going to work. So here's my suggestion for a possible solution. If you consider the oil flowing out of this pipe, then if I plastically deform the pipe such that, I, or in other words, what I mean is squeeze it, then I seal the leak, okay? Obviously, it's now at high pressure. So one, another way to look at that is how, how, you know, one might ask, how am I going to deform this, uh, this pipe? So my recommended solution would be as follows. There's two possibilities. The easiest one, which I call the brute force, is just simply taking a series of concrete slabs. You know, if the BOP, the blowout preventer, was 450 tons, they obviously lowered it into the water, they can lower 450 ton slabs of concrete. And we all know during earthquakes what happens when concrete floors, which could be of the order of that, uh, that mass, uh, what happens when they fall? They'll crush anything in its path. So we could crush the blowout preventer, and at some point, when you add three, four, five, six, ten, however many you need, you will seal the leak. You will deform all the material around this hole in the earth, and you will form a, a, a seal. Another possibility to consider, if the, the BOP, if, it's, if people are worried that, well, it's going to be hard to crush it because it's four stories tall, uh, of course, uh, explosives could easily clear that out of the way, but even if you wanted one possible solution, keeping the integrity of the BOP would be to add, uh, at least initially, would be to take the pipe above the BOP, drop a slab of concrete that has a stopper, that's a concrete stopper, perhaps laden with uh, uh, copper or lead around it, and then it goes in and seals and deforms. So this stopper uh, goes right in here. 
and squishes this material so that it would be a seal. And then you put flat concrete slabs until you seal it. It probably wouldn't be a perfect seal, uh, but at least it would severely, probably severely slow this down uh, until a better solution was found. But again, my recommendation is the easiest solution is to plastically deform this hole by crushing it, uh, either crushing the blowout preventer or blowing it out of the way and then dropping it until finally we cause a solution. We, we call it, we seal the leak. So an example, just to see, so you can see that, here's a concrete slab. Let me turn this down because I don't want to spray too much water. And so here, I put pressure, I put pressure on this pipe and I step and I stop the leak, if I can do it right. Okay. Like that. Try it once more. Pressure. Okay, so that's that stops the leak. Thank you for your attention.